I love making sandcastles. Me too, Emily. But it's so hot and I'm really thirsty. Can I drink that ocean water over there? No way, Mio. It's way too salty. If you drank that, it would make you sick. You know, you're right. There are a lot of places in the world where the water is too salty to drink. How can we solve this problem? Let's start by learning about osmosis. Osmosis. Outrageous osmosis. Membranes are everywhere. Your skin is a membrane, and so is your clothing. A membrane is a thin sheet, and sometimes it lets certain things through, but not others. Today we're going to learn about a membrane that lets through water, but not salt. We'll call it a salt-blocking membrane. As you can see, the water can pass through, but the salt can't. Now, one side has just pure water, while the other side has ocean water, which has water and salt. Nature wants to balance the amount of water and salt on both sides, so the water naturally wants to go to the salty side, where there is less water. Also, the salt wants to go from the salty side to where there is less salt. But remember, the salt can't get across the membrane. This process where the water moves to the salty side, where there is less water, is called osmosis. This is an experiment you can do at home to see osmosis in action. First, mix as much salt as you can into the water. Have an adult help cut up some mushrooms and add them to the jar. Here's the same thing with no salt. Look how the mushroom in salty water shrinks over time. Osmosis makes the water go out of the mushrooms into the salty water around them. Do you remember how drinking ocean water would have made Leo sick? That's because it would make your insides shrink up just like these mushrooms. So, I see why we can't drink ocean water, but how do we get fresh water? Making fresh water from salt water is called desalination. Sal means salt, so desal means to unsalt. That's how you can remember that desalination means taking out salt, usually from water. Desalination is important in many places around the world that have lots of ocean water, but not enough clean drinking water. Engineers there use desalination to take the salt out of the ocean water and leave it pure enough to drink. One way to do desalination is to push so hard on the salty water that the water will go to the pure side. Because it's the opposite of what happens in osmosis, this kind of desalination is called reverse osmosis. Let's check out what the waters and salts are doing now. This is osmosis. But look what happens when we push on the salty side. The waters on the salty side are being pushed to the pure side. Imagine that the salty side is ocean water. When we push on it really hard through a salt blocking membrane, the water that comes out the other side is pure enough to drink. Unfortunately, you can't do reverse osmosis desalination at home. It takes a lot of pushing to do reverse osmosis, so engineers make machines to do it. Now we know how osmosis prevents us from drinking ocean water. But also how engineers use reverse osmosis to make drinking water from ocean water. Reverse osmosis! Finally!